expired. The, the member's time has expired. The question is that the motion be agreed to, and I call the member from Monash. Well, if the member that just spoke put across the government's arguments. I've been around this aged care issue now for, well, since the Hawke government. And there have been difficulties, of course, as the aged care sector evolved and changed. And I've said this many times before. In the last year of the Howard government, I went to see the Prime Minister about something. And he said to me, Russell, I hope you're not here again on aged care. He said, because we haven't got any more money to give them. Because we had increased the money, nearly doubling it year after year after year after year, because of our ageing population. There was always going to be pressure, pressure, pressure put on a sector whereby in the 50s and 60s and 70s, People would go into an aged care home, sometimes as young as 50, as a care facility. It was used as a community care facility. So some people would go in, and they would have been there for 10, 15, 20 years, living a great life, many of them very well. In those days, I remember few high care. You know, high care was the High care was when people strangely lived longer. But not now. Because of the care that we give them, the drugs that are available to them, the attention that they get, and, and neglect was, cannot be put on any one of the nursing homes and aged care facilities in my electorate. And I've had to write to my aged care sector, everyone as individuals, and say to them, it's not you they're talking about. They said, but we're being tarred with the same brush. And I said, no, you're not, especially my not-for-profits. Deputy Speaker, have I had complaints over the years? Yes, I have, but not from any not about any centre that I have personally attended or been invited to. They have really struggled over the past two years to get staff, especially in regional areas. And when you pay them more, you say, oh, that's great for the staff. They've been paid more money by this new government. But now the people in disability say, well, if they're getting that much in aged care, I'm going to go and work in aged care. So you distort the market of where people might go and work. So then NDIS comes in and says, no, we'll pay you more. You come, you come work in NDIS, you come work with people with disabilities. We will pay you more. So then the aged care sector loses. I knew when they said we're going to introduce 24-hour nurses. Laudable idea, fantastic, love it. That means Mrs Jones down the corner, who may have gastroenteritis, is checked on that day, not waiting for the GP to come a week later, which is too late. She would be so dehydrated she may pass away. That has happened, no doubt about that. And there have been, in the most expensive nursing homes, there have been people who have been treated badly and not cared for properly. No doubt about that. So it's not the money you pay to go into the nursing home, it's the actual care you get within the nursing home, who the people are and how they attest, attend to their responsibilities. So I'm not going to admit to all the accusations that was thrown by the member for Blair. I'm not going to. Because every government, to my knowledge, has done the best they can in the aged care sector, having regard for the budget that was available to them. And I can remember when Kim Beasley was giving his valedictory speech. He said in that valedictory speech what the Hawke government would have given to have a one billion dollar surplus or a hundred million dollar surplus. But for years and years and years and years, this nation could never get itself into surplus until the Howard government came along. So the aged care sector benefited from that, one of the wealthiest governments since the, um, since the gold rush in the Howard government was able to pour an enormous amount of money 
into aged care that benefit every community, small, large, country, regional, in Australia. Thank you, John Howard. I thank the member for Monash. The question is that the motion be agreed to, and I call the member for Camp. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Now, 